on really quickly and give you a quick update to what has been going on the last couple of days. Um, I, for those of you who don't know or haven't been watching, I got my scans back and they weren't quite as favorable as I had hoped they would be. And emotionally, I just, it, it just really hit me kind of hard. Um, and I just wasn't dealing really well with it. But, um, on top of that, <laughs> I got, I don't know what I got. I got some kind of, I think it was just a flu bug. I just felt like achy, exhausted. And then I started getting one of my migraines that I've been having off and on for the last year. And it didn't get as bad as, as it has in like the past. Before in the past, it would be like, I just would lose, lose everything. I would just like throw up. I would pee myself. I, I couldn't see straight. I had to lay flat with just something dark over my face. And that was before. Well, now, this time, um, I actually um, was a little bit more, I, ca I think I caught it like, before it got as bad as it could have been. And um, the doctor had given me, I'm gonna look and see what it's called. I wrote it down in my notes. Topiramat, Topiramax, um, Topiramat. Yeah, I think I might have spelled it wrong, but Topiramat. It is for seizures and it is for migraines and I don't know. They use it off label for several things, but basically it's for migraines and it's supposed to help. And I really do think it has been helping um, at least maybe not prevent them completely, but keep them from being like, um, you know, overwhelming and uh, having to wear a diaper, <laughs> that kind of thing. So, um, okay, so that happened. And then Saturday morning, um, before I got my migraine, Saturday morning, I had the doctor wanted me to go in for more tests. I don't know, again, I can't remember if I told you guys this before, so forgive me if I have, but wanted me to go back in for a PET scan because I'd had a CT with contrast, I'd had MRI, uh, a bone scan, bone density thing, um, something else. Oh, labs, the oh, labs. Anyway, and so the spot on my lung, it's on my left lower lobe of my lung, um, he wanted to do a PET scan because he wanted to see, get if PET scans are a little bit more sensitive and while they do pick up a lot more uh, of stuff, some things that you don't, you know, like they're kind of, it's, it's sometimes they show too much, she says. So a lot of times he doesn't like to use the PET scans because it usually, they ha he has to go back and do a CT scan and MRI anyway. That's his take on it. So then my, oncologist, my female oncologist, that was my oncology surgeon, um, said that she really wanted to do a PET scan and get a better look at the, the spot on my lung because I had had, um, I had been sick really, as you guys know, I was off air a lot last year. I had um, bronchitis, pneumonia, and just was sick, 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 sick for, I would say most of last winter off and on. I had a, a bad cough, I couldn't, I couldn't breathe. I had um, um, see, I'm really foggy right now too. Anyway, I didn't do too well. So uh, she wanted to see if, the spot on the lung. And I think you guys in the comments also made that comment too. And 
I was going to bring it up to her, but she beat me to it. Uh, in the comments, uh, several people said, hey, remember you got really sick last year? You had that, you know, pneumonia and stuff that maybe it's showing scar tissue. So anyway, that's what that's what she wanted to find out. So they did the um, scan on Saturday morning. And I still have my colonoscopy to go. Those are one more thing I have to do. But um, I couldn't get that scheduled out for a little bit. So, um, yeah, I got to do that. But um, this the PET scan, I'm supposed to be getting the results probably... Uh, she said by Wednesday or Thursday. So I am waiting anxiously for that because that gave me a little bit of hope because if she's thinking that it could possibly be, um, you know, a scar tissue and not uh, a tumor growing, then um, there's, I mean, it just gave me a little bit of hope that possibly that it could be that. Now, the mets on my spine and my uh, pelvic area were so, so, so minute. It was like the like a tip of a pin, she said. Um, but keeping a close eye on those, those didn't panic me as much because they have been there. They have kind of played peekaboo um, through the last couple years, but they've kind of you know, it's in my bones and I've known that, but the one for the lung was really threw me for a loop. So that, um, you know, had me really spinning for a little bit there. And then I didn't realize I was getting sick either. I didn't feel, I didn't realize I was feeling not my best. And sometimes when you don't feel your best and then you are trying to deal with something emotional, it just... You know, it just makes it that much harder. Um, yeah, so Saturday, we had a really good day. I went had my scans done in the morning. And then we went to my um, sister's house uh, for my mom's birthday uh, celebration. And so that was really nice. My mom got to see our new baby for the first time. Everybody had been sick. They they were sick. Uh, they had my parents had COVID, both of them, um, right when the baby was first born, so they couldn't see the baby. And then they got better, but then the the family got then we all got sick. So it was like this, you know, uh, tag your it, <laughs> but nobody got they didn't get to see the newborn baby. So my mom got to see Olivia and hold her and kiss her and love her and everything on Saturday. So that was really cool. I got some really beautiful pictures of um, of my parents that day with the grandkids. And so that was a great day, a good family day. But I was feeling kind of just uh, like I just I didn't feel real like vivacious and feel like myself. Um, so I think it's because I was like gearing up for this uh, migraine and I just was my body was just kind of like trudging along. But then um, Saturday night, I got my clothes all laid out for church. I washed my hair. I did my nails. Yay. And I was so excited to go and, and be out and be with my family. You know, it's my favorite day of the uh, week, Sundays. Um, and Saturday or Sunday morning came and I could not move. My head was just throbbing. It was so bad. Excuse me. Sorry. My lips are so chapped. Whenever, do you guys get your lips really chapped when you're like bed in bed and not up and around? I don't know. I think it's because I put the heater on higher and... There we go. This stuff is from Lip Sense. It is amazing. It is got vitamin E and aloe and and it's just like the best, the best. It's good for lip gloss, but it's also best for like um chapped lips. 
So there you go. The more you know. But anyway, um, I woke up and my head was just like, I'm like, oh man, I was so bummed. But then I thought, well, maybe if I get up and I get my coffee and I start, you know, moving around a little bit, then maybe possibly I could, you know, maybe I could turn this around. And it did not happen. It just did not happen. So I was starting to feel nauseous and that feeling of like, uh-oh, you know, it's going to get worse. So I, I took my medicine and went to bed and just tried to sleep it off. Well, then um, Monday, I was supposed to work at 5 a.m. Ah, I know, 5 a.m. But I'm trying to work earlier in the day so I can get more of my uh, channel work done in the afternoons or mid-morning or later morning, you know, after, and have the evening and all that. And um, so I was just playing with the schedule. But anyway, I didn't, I, there's just no way I could get up. I was like, just forget it. There's no way. And so that was yesterday. Now, today, I am, um, I'm supposed to work at 1, and it is, what time is it? It is 12.19. <laughs> so, I am going to, I think, um, I'm going to, I just think if I try working today and looking at the camera, because just looking at this camera right now with the lights on me, uh, my head is starting to like, uh, starting to throb a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do is take off, um, move my hours um, for today and then uh, work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, and get my three days in that way. I hate doing them back to back like that because it does wear on me, but I just feel like I, I, I feel like if I go and I try to work now, I'm going to end up in bed for another two days. So just can't do that. Cannot do that. So that's it. But um, I wanted to kind of talk just a little tiny bit, just for a few minutes, about how um, each time you learn that something changes with your cancer, even if it is just something like my mark cancer tumor markers are up, or you know, I'm not even talking about just right now, but in general, I've been talking to. Um, I have a friend from church. Her name's Mia. Hi, Mia. She also has cancer. She has a different type of cancer, but. She had scans that were questionable, so she had to go back in and get a biopsy. And we were both talking, and we're like, it just puts you in. It's just like you try so hard to have peace about it, and you pray about it, and you you give it to God, and you're like, you know what? We've, you've brought me this far. I can do this. But somehow, when it's like, a, it's like you've been there, done that, and it's coming back again to get you, there is a different feeling about it, and I don't know how to put my finger on it. There is, maybe some of you guys know, if you do and want to talk about it, drop the comments uh, below. I'd like to hear them. Um, but I really think that it's almost like, okay, so like when you've been in a car accident, if you've ever been in a car accident and you've been hit from behind, and even if you haven't been hit like severely from behind, but you've been hit and you've been like, oh, son is sore. After that, for a period of time after that, you are, every time you're on the freeway, at least I am, I'm like, oh, don't, you know, don't get so close behind me. Oh my gosh, they're coming up really close. You know, it's the fear of that boom again. And then it doesn't happen. Over a period of time, you start Ah, relaxing a little bit, and then boom, it's like, ah, dog on it. <laughs> but it's that feeling of dread. It's like, you know, you can see it coming in the, rear, in the rear view mirror, and there ain't nothing you can do about it but brace. <laughs> so I think that's kind of the way I have been reacting or I've been feeling since, um, since getting my scan back, 
scans back and stuff. I think I've just been feeling like um, the dread and the bracing. Um, where it is like the first time you're diagnosed, you don't know what you're bracing for. It's kind of like the unknown. So it is a different type of, uh, there's fear of the unknown. There's all these perceptions that you have of what it will be like. You picture yourself bald, you see, you know, you, you picture what you see on TV, you know, or the worst of it, you know, you don't see the the other end of it when you just picture the worst. And it is a different, it's a different. But when it comes back around, it just feels like it's that car behind you that's riding too close and you're bracing and praying to God they don't hit you. Um, so I kind of, th that's, I don't know, that's the only way I can explain the feeling um, that I have right now. So I didn't want to wait to put the video up because I figured that um, waiting for good days, waiting for something pretty to show you or whatever. It just may not be happening anytime soon. So as with everything, I tell you guys everything, I show you guys everything, I'm sharing my journey and this is where my journey is right now. Um, I'm just kind of in limbo. So I will jump back on and do another video when I get my results. Uh, hopefully, hopefully tomorrow or Thursday. But for this vlog, I am going to go ahead and put whatever I have up. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, or at least get some benefit out of it. Um, or can like kind of know where I'm coming from if you're there yourself. And I think the takeaway is whether it is your first diagnosis, your second, third, fourth diagnosis, it... Bracing uh, for what's to come is not a bad thing. I think though panicking and like swerving into another car would be a bad thing. <laughs> but bracing and getting prepared is not a bad thing. So, you know, I think for me, what I've done just like kind of mentally in my head, I just went through a list of all the blessings and all the time I've had, all the extra time I've had, and I, you know, I started thinking again, if, I mean, I could die in a car accident. Um, I could fall off the stoop and hit my head and die. People laugh when I say that, but that happens daily to people. And no one knows what their future holds for reals, you know? Um... I remember my mother-in-law had cancer, two bouts with cancer, and she was older than my father-in-law, eight years older, and we always thought that it would be her that would die first. Well, boom, out of nowhere, my father-in-law drops dead of a heart attack. No warning, nothing. Um, you just don't know when your number's up and who's next. So the you just have to be ready. You know, and I'm ready. I know where I'm going. I know I'm going to heaven. I'm going to be with my son. I'm going to be with my brother who passed away, my grams, all the loved ones that, you know, have gone on before me. I will be there. Um, so I, I, I'm making peace with that, you know, and whether it comes with this diagnosis, whether it comes with the next diagnosis or however it comes, I just need to keep the perspective of, of I'm ready. I'm ready. And, you know, I'm going to just do what I always do. I am going to brace for the fight. I am going to eat and juice and do all that, which, by the way, as soon as I'm out of this bed, you guys are going to have to see <laughs> because I got some new uh, protein powder that I want to try out. I got a new, um, oh, juice stuff. Oh, I showed you guys Magic Mind. Yes, I have been 
uh, taking that and it, it does help with clarity, but I didn't want to take it when I'm sick because I didn't want to waste it. So I am going to go ahead. I ordered another 12 bottles. So I'm going to do that for whatever. I've got like four bottles left plus the 12 that I ordered. So I'm going to do that and add it to my regimen. And after those are gone, I'll probably stop, uh, start doing juicing, juicing myself because those things, those little things are kind of expensive. And I think, I don't know if it'll be any cheaper to juice or not, but you know, I'm going to give it a try. So, all right, I'm done. I'm going to stop talking now. Thank you guys for watching. This is Jody. Oh, and if you'd like to subscribe to my journey, then please do go ahead and hit the subscribe button, set the notification bell so you will know when there is another upload and you don't miss anything. That's it. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, oh, and if you want to try the Magic Mind, the description, I'll go ahead and put the link in the description. I have a discount code for 20% off. They have so graciously given that to me. So I appreciate that. Thank you, Magic Mind. Alrighty. I think that's it. I'm signing off. I'm going back to bed. Talk to you guys later. <laughs>